so so this talk is called Einstein disdain for mathematics um, there are various articles saying Einstein was bad at mathematics when at school but then there are other articles defending him saying he was good I'm going to look at an article which claims that it was a myth to say that Einstein was bad at mathematics when he was at school. So this is the article. And the article title is Did Ob Einstein Really Fail at Mathematics? And that is when he was at school. The article says a common story has emerged around Einstein a story that helps to humanize an otherwise unrelatable titan of science. The story asserts that Einstein, brilliant as he was, actually failed mathematics as a child. And if someone as intelligent as Einstein could fail at mathematics, then there is no reason that you should let your own minor failure stop you from pursuing your goals right question mark well the truth is that einstein didn't fail at mathematics unsurprisingly einstein was a mathematics and science prodigy from a young age so where did this common myth emerge from the exact origins of the einstein failed mathematics myth are unknown but there's one particularly compelling story, a 1984 article from the New York Times, reveals that in arithmetic and algebra, Einstein was consistently given a grade of one out of six at his school in Switzerland. But at the age of 16, uh, Einstein's mathematics grades took a dramatic turn. He was getting all sixes. And the article carries on without context. Einstein's record certainly make it seem like he had failed mathematics as a student. But as it turns out, the shift in Jan Einstein's grades was due to his school's sudden decision that six would designate the highest school and one the lowest. While we can never know for sure, this grading switch may have been the cause of the legend that Einstein failed mathematics. So what happens is that Einstein is getting a one in one moment and that at that time it meant top school and the next moment he was getting a six and at that moment it was supposed to be meaning a top school. So they switch over the one and the six. I don't know how accurate that story is but this is the excuse that's being given for why they think uh, there's this myth of Einstein being bad at mathematics at school. But basically, Einstein's mathematical reputation is defended by his admirers. Uh, many have pointed out that Einstein made mistakes in his mathematics for his theories, such as, and this is a book review on a book about Einstein called Einstein's mistakes and it points out that Einstein made a lot of mistakes in his theorizing and his mathematics. There are other examples of people pointing out that Einstein was bad at mathematics. So the defenders of Einstein who say it is false that Einstein was bad at mathematics at school and was instead that Einstein was good at mathematics at school, it's unclear what their position is when it's pointed out that the mathematics Einstein has in his theories is bad. Are they still wanting to defend Einstein then or not? If a person was good at mathematics at school, it's a surprise that their mathematics suddenly gets bad well, when the person starts writing scientific papers, or maybe not. Maybe they had disdain for mathematics and couldn't be bothered to tidy up their mathematics, question mark. So the reference I'm going by is this book, A World Without Time.
and the book's referring to Einstein before World War II. It says Einstein before fleeing Germany had already become a refugee from mathematics. He later said that he could not find in that garden metaphor for mathematics as a garden of many paths. The one to what is fundamental. He turned to the more earthly domain of physics where the way to the essential was, he thought, clearer. His disdain for mathematics, and that's where we get the disdain from, disdain for mathematics earned him the nickname Lazy Dog from his teacher, Minkowski. And Minkowski is the one who came up with the uh, four-dimensional form of special relativity. And Einstein says, you know, once you start calculating Einstein with quip, you S-H-I-T yourself up before you know it. According to the book, uh, Einstein started to change his mind after talking to Gödel. Uh, and, that, and that change in his mind, he didn't, Einstein didn't so say have so much disdain for mathematics. But the point remains, Einstein in most of his years, disdained mathematics. Hence, that explains why he made so much a mess of it. He theorised, but didn't care too much if he made a mistake, m made a mess of the mathematics for his theorising. As a side note, it's strange to note that Einstein used the word S-H-I-T in what he's quoted as saying. Anyway, the point is, that you run into a mathematical mess because of Einstein's attitude to mathematics when you're reading his theories. Many of the mathematical problems I've pointed out in previous videos, Einstein's theorizing is just built on problems with his mathematics. His mathematics that he's probably helped with. So that's the end of this short video. Thank you.